Hey guys, welcome in today. We got a fun famous artist piece, Romero Brito, flower inspired piece on here. I got some paints aside, some Sharpies and pencil um, that I'm gonna start out with. Pretty simple design, simple shape, and you can take it to however that you want your design to look inspired by, of course, um, his- Thousands and thousands of awesome pieces that he has. So let's start in the middle, probably about the size of your fist in the middle. I'm gonna try to do a circle. We'll line it a little bit darker. That looks good. That looks good. And I'm gonna do the same thing for each of the flower petals. I'm gonna to try to do six, three on each side. So I'm gonna start with kind of a line right in the middle. I'm gonna have one go over this way. And then, like I said, come down a little bit. And then that one also is gonna go off to the next one. Kind of stretch it out and then bring it back in. We kind of balloon up. And then I'm gonna try to go through the other ones to try to fit, like I said, three on this side and then three on the other side. So let's go through that real quick. Okay, nice, that looks good. Now I can go over it a little bit darker. You can see that I'm kind of playing with um, the size just to make sure that they're about equal and about even on each side. Um, some people do certain measurements. Sometimes they take their eraser uh, and kind of hold it with- You're on the outside just to kind of measure each one. Some people use their finger as a measurement. They're all about the size of kind of my thumb as it extends out there, just to kind of make sure it's even and has good composition on there that is right in the middle. So I'm gonna go through those a little bit darker and then we'll start talking about and thinking about what the designs for each one of those petals is gonna be unique. Okay, from here, I'm gonna switch it up a little bit. Usually I do my Sharpie and I'll probably use a thicker one to go over it. But I saw in a lot of the, his style and the pictures that he used, he even used those new kind of Pascal markers. I'm gonna use temper cake uh, paints and then go over it with Sharpie. So I'm gonna do my designs on the inside, show you that. So let's go through that quick. Okay, so as we're working along here, I haven't done this in a while, where I break down a little bit of insight and information on this Brazilian painter. Uh, more pop art and kind of painter, sculptor, uh, cubist, pop art, graffiti style painter. A lot of different varieties in his stuff that he does, and especially the brands and uh, way that he uses pop culture to bring his artwork to more people and the masses of people that have seen or heard of his stuff. You know, from everything just a couple months ago, how I really found out was because Burger King was running a special uh, for their kind of crowns or whatever that my kids always wear or get when we go to Burger King, um, that he did a kind of version of that um, to even like the Super Bowl pre-show um, that they did some sponsored things in there. And he came to America, uh, Miami, I believe, in the kind of the late 80s and 90s when, you know, all the bright colors and that kind of style of that generation uh, was popularized. And then he kind of took that and expanded that throughout his work and then started to get more popularity. Okay, so there, now we got it to kind of the next step. As you can see, I kind of put a start of some of my patterns or design with his name or signature in the middle with some stripes on, but it's not quite done yet. Now, uh, from all the other works that we've talked about and seen, you can see how you can take it from kind of a start to a finish. Let's get some finish work with a little magical brush work, just like Sir. All right, how awesome does that look? Ramiro Brito, our famous artist in the celebration of today, did a little flower on there, had a little bit different designs and intricate designs on each individual one with not only his signature in the middle, but a little bit my old school signature in the background, paying homage um, to some of his styles and artistry on this piece. So thank you guys as always for viewing. I am Mr. Shooty. This is Mr. Shooty's art channel. We'll talk to you guys later.